Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you guys how to construct a point that is equidistant from both a given point and a given line. So, and based on uh, today's assignment, you should understand why we want to know how to do this, right? So, here's a, a point and a line. I'm going to get rid of these two points. Let, oh, I always forget. There's a tool for hiding. You don't go to the pointer. So I'm going to hide this one and this one. OK, and from here I want to construct a point that is the same distance from both this given point and the given line. And just for the sake of, of this construction, I'm going to set the distance up here. So I want it to be this far away. So I'm going to define this line segment as my distance, that my common distance that I want the um, point to be from both the line segment and this point A. All right, and uh, as always, we can only use the compass and the ruler to do this. So the easiest thing to do is construct the, well, I don't know, easiest in, in the context of this question, is to construct the locus of all points that are this far, this many units, away from point A, because that's just going to be a circle, right? So I open my compass to that length by just clicking on these points up here, and I set the center of my compass at A, and there's the set of all the points that are this far away from the point A. Let's give this a name. All right. Um, can't, oh, there are text down here. So let's call this, let's call this length R. R for radius, right? So there that is the length R. And, um, all right, so the next step is to construct the locus of all points that are this far, R units, away from the line. And to do that, I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to do the construction over here. Well, I can't go too far away. But basically, what I need to do is construct a perpendicular line uh, through this line. So that's the first thing I need to do. So I'm going to do it far away from the circle so that when we get back by the circle, we can see what's going on. I'm going to put a point here. All right, and now I'm going to get my compass out, and I'm going to set this distance and swipe down here, okay? And then I'm going to do a couple more things, right? So set this distance here. Oh, it's got to be more than that distance, so I need a longer, I need another point, which is outside, right? So I'll just take my point tool, put a point out here, and go back to the compass and swipe there. All right. I need a little more room here. As usually, as usual, this is not the most riveting uh, thing to listen to, right? But there we go. <clears throat> oh, I did this wrong, right? So at this point, G, yeah. Okay. So I need to use the point G <laughs> just to so if you make mistakes while you're doing this, you're not alone. There's something about having to use the compass in the rule. So I need to use the point G just to set the radius. I just put it there to make sure that it was longer than that radius. And then I'm going to set the same radius, but put it at this point right here. Right. And so now we see that um, we can make perpendicular line. So we can connect these intersection points. And to see those, I'm going to zoom in because this is the key, right? So zoom in. So there we go. There's our perpendicular line. And now the point that we want, that we really care a lot about, is this point. Because remember, that point is now the correct distance from the line. So we now want to construct a perpendicular line to the one we just constructed. So yet another perpendicular line through this point here, L. and because we can zoom in, I'm just going to stick with the same scale right here. And I'm going to put a circle here. And at this point, we need to construct 
perpendicular through L, right? So I'm going to put, once again, try to get it right this time, a point out here to set my radius. And then my compass, I'll set to this opening, but then go back to these two intersection points. So there's one intersection point. And then again, compass is set from L to M. Go back to J. And we're almost done because the next step is to connect this point with this one. There we go. That's going to make our line. And all those construction lines over there are kind of, this is why I did them over here. Because look at the mess that we made, right? That's a, that's a mess. But over here, look how nice it looks. Now we can see we have two options, right, for points that are equidistant from our given line. Remember, this line was given. It skips from 9 to 11. I want to make it 10. Why? I don't know. And this point was given, right? So then the points that we've constructed that are equidistant are this one and this one. Okay? So remember, these points, the straight line distance to the point A and the vertical uh, perpendicular distance down to here are the same, right? Those lengths are the same. And we made sure of that by this construction. So this construction constructs points that are equidistant, right? Equidistant from the point A and the line down here. All right, so we can, with our compass, we can find those points down here because we should be able to set this here, swipe. And there we go. See, it's exactly right. And swipe. And so zooming in, you can't see the exact point, but you can see that it's tangent, right? And so that's where it's got to be. So down here somewhere is the point uh, where the perpendicular hits. We don't have to construct the perpendicular over here because we did it way off the screen, right? Just to keep the construction lines out of the mix. But those points Q and R are equidistant from the point A and this dark line here, which we never named, but this darker given line. All right, so I hope that helps you with your assignment today. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to post 